Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the sign of Aries for June 2024. Hey Aries, hope, you, hope you're doing okay. Um, we've got the healing forks, the color here in the healing forks. Let's take a look and see what you're... Blue, third eye chakra. Mm, opening up that awareness. All right, let's take a deep breath and begin. Beautiful, that feels good, that feels good you guys are doing well let's see angels ancestors spirits guys what messages do you have for aries for the month of june 2024 page of wands news coming in Ooh, it says connecting with your deck okay so i normally take these out but apparently they were both in i think they're six of swords nine of swords five of cups fell on the bottom um and then eight of pentacles on the top. So um, you could be getting news, right, about um, something you might have moved away from. There could be this feeling of being um, a little re remorseful, a little bit of regret that might be getting into um, getting into the mind here. So it's important to focus on the work, right? Eight of pentacles. If I see you diving into work, there's this news, right? There's this message that comes in very excited, very quickly, right? That propels you to get moving in a different direction. And when you do that, you might be a little bit sad about the things that you have had to um, move away from and there, that could cause some anxiety. Let's get some clarifiers. Some more information. Can we have some information on this news and this Page of Wands energy, please? Ancestor Spirits Guides, Page of Wands energy. What is that? Oh, Nine of Bows, respect, right? About not giving up. I just want to note that the Wheel of Fortune is on the bottom here. And then we get the Two of Vessels, the Nine of Vessels, and the Knight of Arrows. All right. You could be getting some news about something that you've been working very hard on for a very, very, very long time, right? I'm, I'm hearing like very, 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 like this has like been something that's ongoing that you had, that's kind of like um, put you through the ringer, right? Either like in the, in the, um, in the dryer now and it's almost time, right? And it's, it's so near completion, two nines in this 10 here. Um, and you're getting messages from someone who you're very close to, and it's going to give you a lot of information and propel you to move, get going, take action, right? And that might be why you got to you got to get going so quickly because um, it's like it it isn't just urgent; it's exciting, and it's something you might have been. It, it's like your wish is coming true. It's something that you've been waiting to hear for a very long time, and it's going to turn that wheel. It's really going to expand the luck. I heard expand the luck, and I just saw three, two, one, right lift off i heard lift off awesome so what is this about we're moving six of six of wands queen of arrows two of arrows and justice okay so um a logical decision had to be made and like i said you've been through something right it, it's been very um, enlightening and it's not been easy and that's that queen of uh, swords energy and it could be someone um again because we have the knight of swords and the and the uh, queen of swords bringing you information right but it really feels like all right like no bs no crap i'm just taking this information because i can things have been blocked right i can see now beyond those blockages or where those blockages are and i'm just being real honest with myself we're just being real honest with ourselves about this i say that too because i am an aries i have a stellium an intense stellium in aries so i feel it and i know and it's like this is important right and when it comes down to it we can take that emotion out of it and be very concise right very very concise in our communication and understanding and make that judgment call okay these blockages are here i have the information i'm just gonna have to move forward i'm changing my mind i'm going a different direction you know and emotionally that can be tough that's why this five of five of hearts please or i heard five of hearts five of cups ace of stones foundation yeah because it's necessary so we know that you know the the cups that have been spilled if we turn around and we look there's still two cups standing so it's time to turn the focus on things that are solid and maybe that 
previous um, blockage or situation or where it was that we were waiting for um, wasn't giving us what we needed to establish ourselves and there's an offer here a monetary offer a real offer something that's uh take it as it resonates but something that's going to continue to benefit the three-dimensional realm of your life and so you're you're heading toward that and there's anxiety Mm, because of your friendship group there could be some gossip there could be some things people are saying and they three of cups down on that five of cups and that here they are right so it doesn't always make people happy and as a matter of fact it could be some people in your community who are saying things or keeping information or put it how it goes right air air energy and the people that you cared about or that you thought cared about you or that were in this environment and maybe they do care about you but there there is like something that's going on in that group that's causing you to feel um, anxious, worry, fear, depression is kind of keeping you up at night, right? Yeah, your old friends, where you're, where you're leaving and where you're going to, right? Sometimes our work, the things that we do for ourselves, the things that we put into the world for the greater good, for the community, for our, the future, right? Or just at least to sustain us right? Sometimes those things, we work so hard on them. And when it's time for us to launch, we have to leave our old life behind. And it, it's, um, it's like this, you know, like our friends and our family and or whatever, our history is what got us to the point where we are. So we aren't exactly happy about having to walk away from that or having to change our mind against what we, where we were before. But when this news comes in, we feel so compelled, right? And I can't help but remember, we got this connecting with card, right? Connecting with your deck, connecting with your work, connecting with these wishes and dreams that you've worked so hard for. So do not deny yourself that, all right? I heard spare your feelings, spare their feelings. You have to just work through it if you want that wish, right? Exactly. We get listen and um, gra uh, gratitude. Gratitude. Listen. Feel. Hmm. Tradition. A lot of them flipped over balance and day right because when we listen and we allow ourselves to feel that gratitude and that grace right both sides of it all the information all of the things we're brought to a place where we can really feel our way through we can feel that balance coming back into the fold and it brings like a new the, the new light of day right sound again with that listening messages big news this is important pay pay attention Pay attention to the messages that are coming to you. Don't give up on your dream. You work hard for this. I just saw 808. There's power in this. Okay. And what animal spirit is here to assist Aries for the month of June? Dolphin. This and that are true. All right. Their perspective and your perspective could both be true. Right. And that's probably what's causing you anxiety. It says, think on your feet, fox spirit. Both of these animals are also known for being playful and quick and smart, which you are, Aries. You definitely are. So use those skills to your advantage, right? Use those things to keep your head above water, to focus on what's good and coming in. And remember, mind the facts. All right, so for the month of June, I'm pulling this from the um, Practical practical Witches Spell Deck. If you choose to participate, you can, but I'm pulling a spell for each uh each sign for the month of June and Aries is getting the candle, candle centering meditation spell to help center yourself. Perfect, right? Light a candle and meditate on it. Ta. Before focusing on the flame, you bring your being and awareness into focus. By light your favorite meditation incense scratch your name into the candle with the tip of your bowline which is your blessing knife right and um, scratch your hope onto the candle light the candle and recite this candle burns for me here burns my hope for whatever your hope is say here here burns the flame of insight may i see clearly in this new light and then sit with your eyes closed for a few moments and picture yourself realizing your most heartfelt hopes and truest desires 
nine of cups, right? And the wheel came out. You did this. You worked for it. You deserve it, right? Go for it. It is time. All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time.